Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel the Flutter Studio. So in this video we are going to learn that how you can generate a QR code and how you can even scan and read the data from a QR code. So let's get started. So as you can see first after creating your Flutter project go to your project file and over here inside your lib folder create one more folder named screens. Here we will be putting all of our screens. Now after creating this folder go to your pubspec yaml file and import these two packages which is qr flutter and second is barcode scan. So the barcode scan package we will be using for scanning our qr codes and barcodes and qr flutter package we will be using for generating our qr code. Okay. Now after doing this go to your app level build.gradle file. Over here change your main SDK version from 16 to 18 because to use this package your minimum SDK version should be at least 18. Okay. Now after doing these three things go to your main.dart file. Over here as you can see I am having a home screen widget inside our home parameter. As you can see that we have already created our screen folder earlier. Now over here first we will create a dart file name home screen.dart file. So as you can see on our screen that we are having a column of two buttons. Okay. And this screen is our home screen. Okay. So here we are having our scaffold app bar and in its body inside the center widget we are having a column of two raised buttons. First raised button indicates that scan QR code and second one indicates generate a QR code. So we will start with our scan QR code functionality. Okay. So when I click on scan QR code, so we will be navigated to our scan screen widget class. Okay. Let us navigate to our scan screen first. So create one dart file named scan QR screen. Now over here, as you can see that this is a stateful widget. Okay. Now here we are having a string named barcode. Okay. So what this string we will be using for that when you will be scanning some particular QR code or barcode. Okay. So whatever the data that that particular code will be containing that will be stored inside this string variable. So as you can see over here again in this screen we will be having an app bar with some text and inside its center column we are having a raised button which will be having the text of start camera scan. And in and in its on pressed we are calling a scan function. Now just below this raised button we will be having a text widget inside a padding widget. And inside this text we will be showcasing our barcode variable at center. So let us go to our scan widget first. So here we have called our scan widget which is of future data type. And here we will be using our barcode scanner object. So in this file you need to import barcode scanner package okay now inside this try catch block what we we have to write only this single line of code which is useful to activate our scan qr code camera object okay here you have to write await barcode scanner dot scan method and if it gets successful then whatever the value we will be getting after this method we will call our set state method and inside this set state method we will set our barcode string equals to value dot raw content. So now this raw content property is the property of our scan result. This value indicates our scan result object. Okay. It is having other properties as well like format which will indicate the format of your scan result whether it is a QR. If it is QR then it will return QR. If it is barcode then it will return its format or its extension. Okay, so these are the three properties that you can result from the scan result which is a raw content. So raw content will be returning whatever the data has been written inside the QR. Okay, its name or anything else. Second is format and third is format node. So we will be using raw content. Okay, now this was done. So after this, uh, if some platform exception takes place, then we will handle according to that. So if our exception code is equal to barcode scanner dot camera access denied, then we'll set the state of our barcode string to the user did not grant the camera permission. Else we will set it to some unknown error and we will put the error message. 
otherwise if some format exception has taken place then according to that we will place some other required exception message on this barcode variable so that is all so now we will check and run this code so when i will click on the scan qr code it will navigate me to the scan qr code screen and over here we are having a button start camera scan so to scan some qr code i have generated one qr code you can find any online qr code generator website and here i have generated this qr code and i have written some text okay so if my qr code gets successfully scanned then this text will be shown to my screen okay this is our raw data so now if i click on the start camera scan so now if i click on the start camera scan button then the application will ask me to allow this application to take pictures and record video so i will select the permission and as you can see the scan result method will automatically will generate a ui like this with options like flash on and cancel so now if i scan this particular qr code so you can see it has immediately scanned it and it has provided the data that has been returned inside this qr code now again if i change it to something like like this and if i click again on start camera scan and again i scan it so the data has been changed so now this was the code that how you can scan some particular qr code now create one more dart file named generate qr code screen okay now we will go to this generate qr screen class okay this is also a stateful widget okay now over here as you can see i have declared some variables so this three variables are for a uh, padding attributes okay padding values like for top section padding so i don't have to write it again so i have made them static constant double data type and i have given them default values so below this this is our global key object so the global key so the global key is used for third two reasons first it allows the widget to change parent anywhere in your app without losing data and second they can be used to access and second it can be used to access the information about another widget in a completely different part of the widget tree okay now second i have written a string with some default value like a uh, hello this is hello from this qr okay variable name input error text which is nullable okay that's why we have used this question mark operator so what this uh, operator indicates is that this value that this variable can have both nullable and non nullable values okay and fourth we are having a text editing controller so let me show you how the screen will look like so when you click on generate qr code so this is your screen here we are having a text editing controller okay so whatever you write down uh, any sort of text inside this and click on the submit button so according to that your qr code will be generated and as you can see that in this qr code there is a image exact embedded between this qr code you have seen such type of qr codes in paytm or google pay okay so let me just show you demo that if i like something flutter as its text and if i click on submit so as you can see the qr has been generated it has changed so according to whatever text you are returning whatever data you want to append and then you want to generate your qr code you can do it like this so let's get started now inside your widget build you can see that you are having a scaffold okay now in its body we are having a content widget now this content widget is containing a variable name final body height now inside this variable we will be using media query to get the size of our device height and we will deduct it with the view inserts dot bottom okay we want some space between the height and the bottom part of the height okay now we will returning a container which is having a background of white and inside this container we are having a column of widgets so first we will having some padding widget okay here you can see i have already declared this top left right and bottom parameters of this padding widget with the use of the above declared static constant variables for top section top padding 
and top section bottom padding and so on now below this padding we are having a child which is a container and inside this container we are having a row of widgets in which we will be having our text editing controller and our submit button so as you can see inside this row we are having a children like expanded widget inside which which we are having our text field inside its controller parameter we have passed our text controller object okay and inside its error text we have passed our input error text string variable now after this we are providing some padding between this add text field and our flat button which is named submit and inside its on pressed method we will be setting the state of our data string value so this data string is of string variable so we will change its value to text controller dot text so whatever the user have written in this text field its text will be setted inside our data string value and we will set our input error text to null as well now after creating our text field and this submit button and we have also set the state of our data string according to the text written by the user now just below this we will be having our expanded widget and inside its center we will be having a reprint boundary image and inside its a key parameter we will be passing our global key okay and in its child we will be using our qr image widget which is which you can get from the qr flutter package okay now inside its data we will be having our data string variable okay so whatever data has the whatever data the user has written according to that our qr image will keep changing we have provided it some size okay of our logo that you can see just in between our qr code okay qr image it is because of this embedded image property of qr widget here you can set the image okay so i have used one of my asset image okay which i have set it inside our qr image and you have you can even provide some embedded image style as well okay so i have provided this image as you can see some fixed size okay you can change it to 50 to 50 by 50 or 110 by 110 you can even change this qr code color as well like uh, the pixels that you can see which are in black color okay you can change it to red or green color according to your need so for changing the color you can use the color property you can use the background color and foreground color property of your qr image so i'm not changing it because i'm finding it quite suitable and after this it is having one more parameter which is error state builder now this error state builder two parameters which is a context and second is error so if some error occurs okay while generating your qr then it will return a container and in its center we will be having a text with oh something went wrong and that is all so here in this way you have generated your qr screen as well so now you will go to your home screen and just below this scan qr code button just create one more raised button and inside is on press method we will navigate to our generate screen widget and that is all so this is how you can build a qr code scanner and generate application now one more thing to see that when you will run this application then please don't use flutter run command because because our barcode scanner package is not supporting null safety so when you will run only just flutter run okay command then it will be giving you exceptions that this packages are not supported null safety our flutter is upgraded to above 2.0 version and even our dart after 2.3 version by default integrates the null safety support for your code so to run this application you have to use this command line to run your flutter app which is flutter run dash dash no sound null safety okay so then without any further exception or errors your app will run and execute successfully so i hope you might have found this video very much informative and helpful and if you does so then please do like and share our video and channel and till then keep practicing and keep fluttering